YouTube, how's it going? It's your guy Nutty Poop back with another video today. And today's video is an awesome one because it is the next episode of our Pittsburgh Pirates franchise. We are almost at the all-star break in our second season of this rebuild franchise with the Buckos. And this episode is huge because it's time to debut one of our big name prospects. Quinn Priester has been killing it in AAA. He's up to a 72 overall. He's got that A potential. So it's time to bring him up to Pittsburgh and it's time for us to debut Quinn Priester against the Milwaukee Brewers. That's what you guys are going to see today. And then after that, we'll sim to the all-star break and we'll check out who are all the all-stars and how everyone's performing at the halfway point. Of the if you guys haven't already, feel free to drop this video like also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Uh, I, I post a lot of MLB The Show content and will be post, posting Madden content when it comes out in a couple of months as well. Also, YouTube tells me about 55, or 50 to 55% of the people who watch my videos are not actually subscribed. So let's go ahead and change that. Without much further ado, let's get into the game. All right, here we go. This is a big one. We got Brandon Woodruff on the mound against Quinn Priester. Quinn making his debut. Are we in Pittsburgh or in Milwaukee? We are in Pittsburgh. So Quinn gets to make his debut in Pittsburgh, which is super, super exciting. We're going to go ahead and turn quick counts on like we have been doing. And there he is. A potential 72 overall Quinn Priester. 94 four seam, 91 two seam curveball changeup. I am so excited to play with this Quinn card. All right, so the lineup is going to look a little bit different today. We got Kevin Newman uh, at shortstop and hitting first. Brian Reynolds in left field and hitting second. Andrew McCutcheon batting third and DH. And Colin Moran hitting fourth. Gregory Polanco is hitting fifth, but I do not want that. I want O'Neill Cruz hitting probably not fifth, to be honest. We'll move up key up to fifth. Uh, then Canna, then O'Neill Cruz. And then we'll switch to Stallings and Kramer. I'm okay with that. That's a pretty decent lineup there to give, hopefully give Quinn a good start here. Now from the North Shore of the Allegheny River, we're inside beautiful PNC Park in Pittsburgh. All right, 28 Today, 49 on the season. Not good. Milwaukee is 43 and 32. Real good squad Milwaukee there. Hopefully we can get a good debut Pittsburgh out of O'Neill, or Quinn Priester, not O'Neill Quinn Priester today, look at him making, his major, debut debut him making his major league debut on the mound. This is so exciting. Look at that, 8-4 and four with a 2-4-2 two two in e, or ERA in AAA. He's ready. I think he's ready for this moment. If he's affected by any nerves, you never know what kind of start you're going to get from a guy in his debut. But from the word we've heard, this guy pounds the strike zone. And if he does that, his stuff should take care of it. In now is Lorenzo Cain. He will lead this one off today. This one's flared down the right field line. Unfortunate right start there for Quinn. On. Gives up the hit in his first at bat for first he sees. With this next at -bat. I think Quinn is missing his slider that he throws in real life, though. Oh, he gets the double play ball, though. Let's go, Quinn. Way to roll the double play ball there. Love it. Brewers have a pretty good lineup. Oh, man. Christian Yelich. Scary here. We'll go away with a fastball, see if we can get him with it. Not where we wanted that. And Christian Yelich absolutely crushes that ball. Welcome to the big leagues, Quinn Priester. He gives up a home run in the first inning of his debut. 407 feet, 100 mile per hour off the bat. The homer in the top I of the first put that right down the middle of the plate, though. Late. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hot. That's a good play there. And that gets so us out of the, the inning. So Quinn does give up the home run there in the first. Christian Yelich goes yard. So we're going to have to fight back but to come back a little bit here. Kevin Newman starts the game. 3 1 count. We're going to take here. Inside, and we take the walk to start four. against Woodruff. Nice, nice. Grounded to third. Or grounds into a double play. One for one. On first <laughs> okay, just like that. <laughs> Not be late on that fastball. Slider wow, great pitch. Strike three. Woodruff was able to get to strikeout in, cuts there and get out of the inning. Nice, let's go, Quinn. That's just not true. Like Quinn Priester is a top top 30 level, prospect no in baseball, I think. Or top 40 prospect, so... Oh, God, he gives up another home run there, though. No doubt about it. 
Ball oh, hung the curveball, and just like that, Quinn's uh, giving up two home runs. That one to Big Daddy Vogelbach there. That's a curveball right down the middle of the plate. Can't do that. The good news is that both home runs have only been solo shots, but the bad news is he's not fooling anyone right now. Quinn Priester gets the strikeout there, comes back. That's his first major league strikeout. his career is going to being a solid one. All the best pitchers at this level have that. Oh my God, I give up another one. I'm hanging that curveball so bad. No Tyrone Taylor goes 401, 110 off the bat. Perfect, perfect there off Priester. All right, gets it out there, gets out of the inning. Does give up two solo home runs. And just like that, Milwaukee Brewers up three to nothing. Out of baby Colin. Way to put that up the middle. Your Buckos get on base. 2 2 one more time. Is swung on and missed. He what got a him. slider there. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Blind to All right, way to get a big out there, Quinn. Or I don't know where to go to get Yelich out. He scares me. There it is. Out of baby. Way to fight back, Quinn. Gives up the home run to Christian Yelich in the first inning and then comes back and strikes him back out there. I can be able to make the play there. Unfortunate. Quinn is having himself kind of a rough day, but if we can get out of this without giving up a run, we're still in it. There we go. Let's go. Make that play, Colin. Out of the inning. Nice shot, Quinn. Near the bottom of the league in both runs scored and batting average. Cruise for Kevin Kramer. Unfortunately, Yelich is able to get over to that. That was deep warning track shot for Kevin Kramer. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Get down. Get down. Great. Okay. Not great PCI placement there, but maybe I thought I was going to get bailed out a little bit. Oh, that's a horrible swing. Oh, pain. Nice. Into the shift. Out of baby Quinn. Down his first at bat. And people are hitting that inside fastball very well. Oh, man, that's Cruz. That's going to be a problem. Shaw is on his way home. Safe at the play. And they lead All right, Quinn gives four. up his fourth run of the game. If he gives up a fifth run here on a hit, we might we might need to get him out of the game. All right, that's fine. They're going to have a hill too steep to climb. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the play. What a horrible animation there for Brian Reynolds. And just like that, Quinn Priester gives up his fifth run of the game. This is not exactly the debut you want if you're Quinn. Might he be another pirate pitcher that they can't develop? All right. Able to get out of the inning, though. Does give up two runs, which is really unfortunate. I'm getting one hit right now by Brandon Woodruff. Oh, man. Legend. Legend difficulty not messing around for me tonight. Out of 80 against the shift there, though, Colin Moran. Gives us our second hit of the night. Let's go, Colin. Nice double there. I don't know if we're anyone or if we have anyone ready for him, but I mean, he's hitting 284. He has 14 home runs this year. He has pretty decent trade value. Woo! Barcana, just like that. Your buckos are back in it. Let's go, Canna. That was a rocket shot off the bat, too. Love it. Boom. Look at that. 103, 430 feet. Let's go, man. Oh, let's go, O'Neal. Had a baby. Nice single there for O'Neal Cruz. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. No. Short, probably too slowly to get to. Return throw is in time. Rip. And that's it on Quinn Priester. Really disappointing debut for him. I'm sad. Hopefully he can bounce back in his second start. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, man, Brewers are absolutely killing the inside fastball right now. I need to stop throwing that. Pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive and a run. Gonna have. To... Uh oh, hold that thought as this one is deep down the line and left hooking, but it's a fair ball home run. You could tell his. 
Line shot to first, and there's one away. It's going to be that kind of game. <laughs> the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's hmm. Good swing there for Brian Reynolds. Unfortunately, doesn't show up anything. Slider. That's a good throw. Let's go, Jake. Jake has a cannon out there, man. Nice. Probably should have cruised that, but he didn't, so we're out of the inning. All right, need, need to firmly chip away here if we have any shot. That's a good start, Touch. Way to get on that, buddy. Perfect, perfect on the changeup. And I ground into double play. Just like that. All right, we'll get Dwayne Underwood in here. Hopefully he can get some outs here so he can eat some innings. Oh, wow. Okay. Get absolutely blooped there. He's picking up spin Great on pitch. Let's all go, Dwayne. Oh, not where I wanted that. It's okay. Get the strike out anyway, though, and we're out of it. And working himself into a lot of trouble. So this is pulled in by the shortstop. That's cruised by O'Neill and just doesn't get rewarded for it. That's pain. Get through. Oh, beautiful dive. What an outstanding play to end the end. Long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense? Oh, no. Come on, man. Yeah. How many hits are we going to give up like that in this game? Nice. Should be a grounded into a double play. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Get through. What? Bro, this shortstop's playing out of his mind right now, though. What an unreal day for him. Bro, he was so safe! He was safe by a good three and a half feet. Swung on and missed. He Great got pitch. him on strikes. Ready now is Hernan Perez. He grounded out last time up. Good swing. Line towards center field. And that's in for a base hit from the belt. The pitch. Good pitch. Good fight back there. Now let's see if we can get Colton Wong up with a fastball here. Pulls this one into the air. He can. Right he does get out. O'Neill Cruz is under it. We're done. Let's go. Oh my God. Great pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Good swing. Unfortunately, gets a little bit underneath that, Taylor and that's out in the right there, fielder. Taylor. Starting to head final out here in the ninth. And right into the shift. Shaw has it. Throw to first and that's ball game. Wow. That's an unfortunate the loss there. Your Pittsburgh Pirates take the 7 3 loss on Milwaukee. Quinn Priester gets his debut spoiled. Gives up three home runs. Gives up five earns, only two strikeouts, and four innings for Quinn. Man, hopefully he bounces back after that rough day. Man, three for four, two for four, two for four, one for four. Four people with home runs in that game, including Christian Yelich. All right, let's go ahead and sim to the All Star break real quick. All right. So, let's go ahead and check the All-Star squads. First of all, we're going to check out the standings, though. In the National League Central, your Buccos are in last place. They're 25, 21 and a half games back, 32 and 59 on the year. I thought we were going to do something. It has not been a good year. Padres and Dodgers in the NL West. In the wild card, you have the Phillies Nationals with the Dodgers a half game or a game and a half back. Giants back there, six games back. In the AL East, you have the Rays and the Yankees two and a half back. Blue Jays eight and a half back. White Sox and Twins are fighting for supremacy in the Central. In the West, you have the Astros with the Angels 11 and a half games back. The wild card is Yankees, Twins, Indians a game and a half, and Angels three and a half. And, of course, the NL East with the Phillies four and a half back of the Braves. All right, so here is the all-star voting real quick. Your starters for the National League, Blake Snell, Aaron Nola, Corbin Burns, Max Fried, Trevor Bauer. Relievers, Seth Lugo, Jordan Hicks, Keona Kayla, Dylan Batances, Trevor May. Closers, Tommy Conley, Brad Hand, Josh Hader. At catchers, you have Will Smith and JT Realmuto. At first base, you have Freddie Freeman and Colin Moran. Colin Moran looking like he's going to be our representative at the All-Star game. Second base, you have Keston Hira and Colton Wong. Third base, Manny Machado, JT. Shortstop, Corey Seager, Trey Turner, Trevor Story. In left field, you have Yelich, Fam, Ozuna. Center field is Bellinger, Nimmo, Starling Marte. Juan Soto, Bryce Harper, Michael Conforto in right field. Andrew McCutcheon, surprised he's not getting more love. 
In the American League, you have Matthew Boyd, Garrett Cole, Lance Lynn, Ryu, Jamie Baria. Tyler Glasnow there, too. Relievers, Slagers, Hearn, Richards, Kirby Yates, Nick Anderson, and closers, Taylor Rogers, Presley, and Karen Shack. Catcher, you have Francisco Mejia and Adley Rushman. Adley looking like he's going to be an all-star in his first year up. Let's go, Adley. First base, you have Christian Walker and Yoli Gurriel. Second base, you have Witt and Jose Altuve. Alex Bregman and Jose Ramirez at third. Shortstops, Carlos Correa and Xander Bogarts. Eloy and Jordan in left. Mike Trout, Ahmed Rosario in center. And in right, Framil Reyes and Kyle Tucker. Before we go real quick, let's go ahead and look at the league leaders. Just so we can see. Batting average, you have Soto, Yelich, Nimmo, Freeman, Story. In home runs, you have Freeman with 35, Soto with 30, Yelich with 24, Machado with 24. In the American League, you have 30 for Eloy, 27 for Fran Mill, 26 for Jordan, 25 for Mike Trout. And batting average, you have Trout, Bregman, Correa, Austin Hayes. Wow, look at him. And Franchi Cordero. And then let's go ahead and look at wins and ERAs. Most wins, Blake Snell, 12, Zach Wheeler... Paddock and Clev at 11 each. Uh, saves Keona Kayla, Luke Jackson, Brad Hand, ERA, Snell, Nola Burns. In the American League, it's Boyd, Bari at Ryu. Saves Taylor Rogers, Nick Anderson, Julian Merriweather, and wins Lance Lynn, Matthew Boyd, Noah Syndergaard in Texas with Kopech and Dylan Bundy tied with third. So that's where we are at, at the halfway point of our second season in this Buccos franchise. Uh, it's looking like all is going to be lost again for the second season. Hopefully we can really bounce back. I think we're going to try to start going all in so we can see if we can get uh, at least a playoff run in our third season. But we'll have to see how it goes. If you guys are enjoying this series, be sure to drop this video a like. And also feel free to subscribe to the channel. Like I said earlier, I do stream over on Twitch Mondays through Thursdays at 8.15 Eastern Time as well as check me out on TikTok and Twitter. All three of those links are in the description down below. Until next time, guys, stay safe out there. We will see you guys soon. Peace.